Welcome back. Right, as promised, I'll show you how to do it. The um, dual drive. That what we did on the 500. It was all internal. So the only thing what was external was a little switch we flicked. Which this hasn't got one yet. Yeah, we're going to do it on the 1200. It needs a lot of man cable management as well. <laughs> yeah, which I never got around to. But hey, here's my chance. So anyway, the things you're going to need is this. Boop. That. Magic. Get it. Editing camera. You know, you remember I, I made the wire cable for the power. You can buy them. Two and a half quid, three quid, four dollars, I don't know. And then you'll need one of these. Boop. Um, this is a big box mega floppy cable. But it's not made for 1200, 600 or 500. That's why it's called a big box, made for the 2000, 4000s. If you look at the end, let's see this, what looks like a cut. There's a camera. There's a twist. And there's five to nine, I think. Or five to eight. Because what that does is, when the Amiga's got two floppy drives, on the 2000, 4000, you can select which drive. And on these, you can't. That one, you can't just plug that in think well why don't we just do it that way it didn't work trust me tried that as well I tried everything so yeah we need to get rid of that twist right, so first thing first cable first then we'll come back to this because <laughs> it need, yeah, needs a bit of a clean up <laughs> so to get rid of this twist yeah you'll see just on this side either side one there there's one there. You need to put a little sharp blade gently in there, in between up, in between that latch. Just prise it gently outwards a bit, not too hard because you'll snap it. Yeah, I did that as well. <laughs> Let's see if the camera will focus on it. You see that? It hooks onto a little clip there, so you need to come from this side and unhook, and unhook it, and then you can push it out. But do it gently, don't overdo it like that. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't show you there. So you can see, we've come out. Let me, we need to do it to that side as well, exact same thing. Just put it in, put it in a little gap. Just gently, there you go. No, that should pull out. There you go. So now you've got that and that. So now we need to undo this twist. Now you need to pull this off, this twist bit, off of the pins. I'll show you. Let me just get it off first. I can show you. And just gently grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it towards you. So it looks like that. And just reverse the twist. And line it back up with the pins so now it looks like that and when you put the top back on and push down <coughs> it's going to pierce the cable so that's where the twist was simple as that now we've got a cut and splice it so from pin one which is the red one, you need to count 10 across. 10 is select zero, that's the cable we want. It's the one we're after. The pin side, face down. You want to cut the cable and bring it this side. So all your cut cables are up here. That way when you're plugging them in, you're not wrapping your cables around all the time. So. So black marked cable 10, outline. 
you need to do that the same as that on this side but remember don't get too close to that leave a gap so now you should have something like that with the pin side on the inside yeah and remember there's two ends to this cable this one is df0 this is what plugs into your motherboard that one will go to your floppy drive and that will go to your GoTech or you can have that go to your GoTech and that's your floppy drive whichever is closest to them too but that one always goes to DF0 this is a one hit wonder so don't screw this up you need to splice either side of that cable so you can separate that cable but you also need to cut that cable so this nearest one to DF0 I'm going to splice it down here either side of that black line and then I'm going to cut it so I've got the cable here this bit of cable don't need to worry about it's this side in between the floppy and the GoTech this you want two ends this end and this end but I'll show you that in a minute right. so I'm going to cut either side of this line here so one side and the other just drop the knife into the gully in between the two cables just gently put it towards you and then do the other side of that cable once you've done that you need to cut it make sure you only cut that cable don't cut any of the others and then, so now we've cut it you should be able to set this off like that so you end up with that with your first wire now this side we need two of them one going this way one going that way so make a nice long cut and then cut it out you should end up like that so you go df0 into the board one cable coming up floppy one cable going to the floppy the other cable going along to the GoTech now if they're a little bit short it's not a problem grab all the wire just pull it and it'll make it longer for you like that this one will make it a little bit longer but not too long there you go so there you go now you want to solder three wires onto that to a two-way switch it's dead simple toggle switch make sure it has the three pins neutral left right or neutral on off so what we'll do is we'll wire the neutral up then we'll wire the floppy to that one and the GoTech to that one those three wires basically right then you need a three strand to attach to your switch so we'll strip them and attach that first. Right. So now you end up with that. All nice clean, tight. So now it doesn't make any difference about red and yellow on here, or whatever colour the wire you're using. The centre one on the toggle switch is the main one, which is going to be attached to this. DF0 motherboard it'll be attached to this and then yellow to that one red to that one job done so again DF0 motherboard so center pin and your toggle switch next one will be a floppy there's one going to that the very last one is your go take one attached to that so at the moment it's on forward position so that will be on GoTech now and when I flip it will skip this one so it will go from there it will skip the floppy go over to that one to the GoTech when I switch the switch across it closes the GoTech and opens the connection to the floppy so now it will be floppy like I said in the previous video, I tried it with the power, putting a switch on the power, it doesn't work. 
it still knows something's connected and it gets confused because you've got a go tech and a floppy it doesn't know what to do so yeah it's no use trying to do the floppy it don't work it floppy no use trying to use the power and putting the switch on it it don't work trust me i've tried <laughs> i've got stacks of cables and power leads there which have been hacked and chopped what do you think i got those spare wires from <laughs> Ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a mess. Oh, stop doing that. You give me an heart attack. So your power cable is self-explanatory. Yeah. That one goes to the floppy. And that one will go to the good attack. I ain't thought about that. Yeah, that's DF0. So now that's on the outside. So that's why I said put it on the outside. Because now floppy goes through. Otherwise your cable will be here in the way. That's why you want to put it on the outside. And then the massively big GoTech, which is that's pin 34. Pin one this way in it, I think. Right. Yeah, I ain't screwed the case down yet. <laughs> I'll do that eventually. Alright, so you're ready. So we're on dashboard, desktop, workbench. So let's give it a reset. Now I've got the demo disc and floppy. So there's a floppy drive. It's a quiet one, isn't it? It's a well old floppy drive. So we should get plasma tech come up on here. There we go. Yeah. So now flip the switch. Give it a reboot. We should go to floppy. Okay, go tech. Floppy. Give me miss. Better. Yeah, that was just step by step. Um, um, the Y cable and the room cable you can find on any Amiga supply store. I won't name any Pacific. You know which one I'm talking about. They're not sponsoring me, so they're not getting a name. Unless you want to sponsor me. But anyway, yeah. So the ribbon cable's about four or five quid. Um, the Y cable for power, it's two, three quid. And then the little switch, pack is ten. It's like six quid. I suppose you can get one for like two quid off of Amazon. I think that's the lowest price they do on Amazon. So all in all, ten pound. And yeah, gives you an internal floppy. An internal GoTech and an hard drive. So, yeah, so if I want to go to my hard drive, I just hard boot. Fingers crossed, it should go to my hard drive. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping it'll go to my hard drive. Yeah, so it's going to hard drive, so no workbench. Like that. Yeah. And if I'm happy what discs in there, all there. So, yeah, let's play Adam's family, give it a soft reset. That's Amiga Amiga control. There you go. That's all there is to it. Did simple. Not rocket science. I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I think it cost me about 30, 40 quid and just ribbon cables and power cables. And they're not that dear. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway. 
Thanks for watching. Again, give us a thumbs up or down. Hit the subscribe. Drop a comment. Something you're not sure about. Drop a comment. If I know the answer, I'll answer you. If I don't, my brother will. I ain't got one. Anyway, cheers for that. See ya. Eat. Did it, did it.